You can't see me. You can't see me at all. I'm a ninja. I'm a stealthy little ninja. Oh, uh, there I am. Anyway, welcome back to Let's Play A Hat in Time. In the last episode, we finished well, we finished getting the major timepieces of Alpine Skyline. In this episode, we're going to continue exploring because we're not done here yet. I want to go left on this piece. All the way, instead of just like going and looking. I never left the level, so... <laughs> Maybe it, you have to leave the level for anything to change. I don't know, either way. We're still gonna do this first. First things first, we, we are still going to do this first. Oh, uh, uh, I, wow, that's a great omen. <laughs> As if my platforming skills have been very... I don't know, what's the word? Really good lately anyway. There's actually quite a few things we missed along the way up there, but this is where I want to go. Because this is where we went, majorly. We, we actually already came all the way over here. And besides, there's a horn over here, and I want to hit that horn. Because horns are important. I think. I assume. They tend to be important, if you ask me. At least I, on nine, nine times out of ten, horns are important. Go ahead and use our fancy little time slowing hat to slow time down so we can make it to the bridge in time. No. Doing that will result in the bridge staying down forever. And here we have a couple buttons that need to be pressed rather quickly. Like a few. Oh, that was a few seconds. I was like milliseconds away from not getting that. I don't know if you can actually get this without using the time stop hat. Like, I, I, I don't think it's possible personally, but if you can do it, congratulations. You have very, very good speedrunning skills, and you should look into speedrunning. Even though you wouldn't come over here in a speedrun of this game. Like at all. At least I don't think you would. Well, at least it resets the timer. Boom, got him all. Oh, hey, there's the horn. It came out of non-existence. Oh no, it came off the clouds. I see, I see. Let's blow the horn. What did that do? That opened this path. Which leads right on over there to a relic of some kind. You've cleared mystifying time, Mesa. I'm almost positive this is a um Yep, ripped open. Okay, so I think we got everything over here. Collectible wise anyway. So that would mean can we can we not? Okay, apparently we can't hook shots to that. Anyway, let's head back this direction. Because I want to go get a few of the collectibles that we missed on this plane, right here. Would this be a collectible hunting mission? I don't know, maybe. I would, I would say yes. This is more of a collectible hunting episode. Because we need some of those, because there's a lot of collectibles that we can grab. They're mostly just rush tokens that I'm care about. Rift tokens are really the only ones I care about getting. Yarn isn't too important as... I wouldn't call this a spoiler, but there are no more hats for us to stitch. So yarn is kind of just collectible if you want to collect it. I mean, I've got 25 extra yarn on my main save and there's still yarn I haven't got, and I've had all of the hats stitched for a while, so... I don't know why there's so much- I hit the thing, wow, that sent me flying. Wow, that would have been bad. Well then, that's not the scooter, apparently, uh, that. I'm just going to alternate between this scooter and the hookshot, aren't I? That's probably what's going to happen here. Can I- haha, <laughs> nice. 
I find that to be rather funny. Uh, I don't think there's one over there, is there? Uh, that's not what helps me. Uh, there's a bunch of pawns right there. Oh, those aren't pawns. That's... Is that over there? Is that accessible in this? It is accessible on this. Yeah, let's do some. Do a bit difficult platforming. We made it though. Yeah, you've cleared Amber Summit. I think that was the thing we needed to clear that. Fancy. I again I don't have the hookshot badge equipped. Okay, so I think we'll go between hookshot and that thing. As you can see, you can see the um thing going to that mountain. That's where we're going to go. You will not stop me from getting up here quickly. You might, however, because you're ever so slightly too slow. Well, I'm slightly too slow anyway. Anyway, let's. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that was rather close. I'm actually going to go ahead and equip this one so we can use this more often. And we don't really need the no bonk badge because we're not going to. We don't. We have no plans on intentionally bonking, or if not, yeah, we have no plans on bonking. So let us not bonk. Because we don't need to do that, we can just go over here and do this. Use our fancy time-saving hat. Yes, this is very clearly a safe place for children to be. We are all aware of how safe giant lava cakes in the sky are for children to play on. Seems perfectly fine if you ask me. Treasure, you say? I am all about stealing, I mean, taking back my treasure. I am... Okay, so I guess in this instance we will be switching back to the no-bonk badge, because... It makes platforming areas easier. At least in my experience. Because it gives you that extra life of a chance. And Scooter Badge makes everything easier, because long jumps are life. We got a Rift Token. And... I think that was the only thing over here, now that I think about it. Oh well. Rift Tokens are always nice to have. I think that puts us at 16, doesn't it? 17. Well, oh, it was off by one. How many time pieces? We're missing the two time rifts, and I think that's about it. And time pieces. I think could be wrong, but I don't know if I am. Ah. Oh, you can't touch this. No. Uh, it's gonna be close. Oh yeah, I bet that closed right after I got off of it. Or went down right after I got off of it. Let's go get the brewing yarn from the top of this cake. Hey, I'm doing pretty good this time. I haven't fallen into the lava once, and now that I've said that, things are going to go terribly, terribly wrong. I just, I can just feel it. Feel it in my boots. Because that's the saying. Let's just go ahead and do some rather simple platformering. Uh, let's time this one relatively good. It, it it almost seems like the that well I mean I didn't fail completely. Boom! We got all of the collectibles on this thing, I guess. Oh oh no! Uh, that almost went bad. Uh, I I think that's all I needed to grab from here. I don't see any more summits that we needed to do. So let's exit the stage for a moment, because I think we have to exit the stage before anything takes effect. I could be wrong. 
but I don't know. Oh, I clicked exit game. I'm smart. At least it auto saves. <laughs> Anyway, let's return to the game. Yes, 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 yes. We are here. Um, I'm kind of concerned. Oh, that's why. We did have to exit the stage. The illness has spread. Timepiece detected. Chapter. Alpine Skyline. So I was right, we did have to leave the stage. That looks ominous, as most of the finals do. Hey, you know what that means, right, guys? I could technically go do the final after this, but I'm not going to because I want to get the rest of the time pieces that we need. Which is mostly just time rifts, actually, at this point. I think there's one in the Mafia Town, and then the rest are time pieces or time rifts. Hmm. Anyway, without further ado, let us begin. The illness has spread. This turns the gruff goats into gruff beer goats, I guess. And what, okay, our goal here is to annihilate the flower illness thing. I don't know. I don't know how to describe that, but the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do it the way we originally did it. So we're going to start with the road to big windmill, I think. If there's one over there. There is one over there. So let's use our scooter and ride. I think it's this way. It might be this way. I don't know. We'll find out when we get over there. It was that way. I feel smart. Okay, so now that I remember that it's the actual location and not the, not the island you had to go through to get to it, I just love that frame rate drop. I bet that frame rate drop is not near as common on PC, assuming you have a beast on PC. Speaking of that, I was thinking, I have recently begun building my PC. I was thinking about switching to PC, like completely. Maybe not right now, because we're so close to the end, but maybe covering the content from PC. Like mod reviews, because modding has finally come out. Actually, the day of recording this anyway, which would be like whatever day that would be. I, no, you can't touch me. Ah. Um, I think it's... Yeah, it's up this way. Uh, dweller Mask. Dweller Mask, Dweller Mask, Dweller Mask. I feel like... It's... Not that way. Why? In which way is... Oh, I see. I feel dumb, I feel dumb, I feel dumb. <laughs> Okay, okay, let's use the flower power petals of evilness to go destroy the flower petal of evilness. Come with me, Sprint Hut. You are our only hope of avoiding the nasty flower buds that it's throwing at us. Bristles are an annoying plant. This reminds me a lot of the, what happens to your garden, I fell. Garden, if you let thristles get out of control and leave a pinata. That is not a... Can I please fall? Oh, wow. Okay, where did I fall? Really? All the... I, yeah. All the way back to the beginning here. Really? Why you do this game? Why you do this? Do you just, like, hate me or something? I think you just hate me or something. That's gotta be it. You just really, really dislike me. So you had to throw me all the way back to the beginning instead of letting me stay, like, right here. Alas, it matters not, because we are almost back where we were. Let's not screw up the jump, though. If I remember correctly, we just beat up the flower. And it works. Destroying all of the plants within the immediate area and apparently knocking out all of the gruff goats within the area and allowing us to not die but continue our 
trek around the map again because you have to go through each area. Hang, is, it, is there one in the lava cave? I don't think there's one over by the lava cake. There might be. I could be wrong. I'm not seeing it though. Oh wait, now I'm seeing it. So that means the Twilight Bell one and that one are overlapping at the moment. Let's... So that means we have to go to the Twilight Bell, which is right on over here. I do believe. Assume, it doesn't look like there's one over by the Twilight Bell though. Like, at all. In fact, it looks like there's rather not. But anyway. Instead of doing that, because I think we're going to the Twilight Bell. Oh, hi there. Let's go to this one, because I didn't see one over by the Twilight Bell. Because this was the third one we did, I do believe. We didn't go that direction, but right now it's not important. It is not the important thing. There's a lot of lightning going on, so I don't think jumping on these tires should be very wise to do a thunderstorm. But I'm not, I'm not hat kid, so... Well, technically I am a kid, but I'm not a kid. I mean, I am the controller. I don't know how to word things like that. That's convoluted. Oh, hi there, Thunder. You're, you remind me of a owl. You remind me of an owl. These are oh so lovely parkouring platform skills. Uh, that's what I was aiming for. How did that count as two? That's rude. It's very not cool game. Very not cool. Fall. Fall. Give me heart pawns. There we go. See, you can, you can get what you're aiming at if you're if you hit it right. And lightning doesn't destroy what you're aiming at. Thanks, game. Okay, I was gonna say, what am I supposed to do with this? I don't think I can make that even with the... What? Okay, now what's going on? Oh, the cutscene to show you where the flower is. Even though, oh, oh yeah, this one has the power to kill you with Vine Whip. I would say Vine Whip. Vine Summon. Imagine if this was a Pokemon attack? Jesus. It'd be like a Dark Grass type. Is there even any Dark Grass type Pokemon? Hmm. There's an idea, Vincent, though. I suggest calling him Poison or something. Well, I guess Poison would be that... that equivalent. You know, you would think it would be at the Twilight Bell and not at the Lava Cake, but... You, you know, whatever. Game logic is game logic. Let us... Let us begin our trek over to the Fire Cake on the other side. So yeah. I mean, technically, if we started with the lava cake or this one, it would have been more efficient, if you ask me, but we didn't, so... Yeah, we had to go all the way across the map. I don't think I'm gonna make that, because I don't have the Nomog Ratchet. Oh, what? What? Oh, there's a platform there, apparently. So, you're safe if you land there. That's awesome. I didn't know that would existed. We just got our ass saved by something that... Who's gonna know this is there unless they landed on it? Speaking of which, we have 461 pawns. I love how quickly you get pawns when you're not paying attention to them. Oh, that was almost bad. It's actually kind of entertaining to watch your pawn number go up like that. Seems we are nearly at 20 minutes, if not already. But alas, it doesn't matter. We won't go too far over. We're almost there. As all we have to do is go here and do this, and we are already on our way to the last one, which shouldn't take us more than five minutes, hopefully. It would be it would be nice for it to be done right now, but <laughs> only in a perfect world can I actually stop at twenty minutes. I don't know, 20 minutes would get monotonous. I'd like having a varied... a varied thingy. Do some... Slip in the Duda parkouring. And also this way for the, um... Flower Bud of Doom. Anyway, let us... continue our way up. Oh, there's apparently... 
a treasure on the Ember Summit now. Wasn't there already a treasure on the Ember Summit? Okay, so uh, how do I get up there exactly? I see. I see these buds, so it means we're going the right way, right? And we got a checkpoint, so that means double, right? Oh, I see, I see. I see, I see the way. I know the way now. It is this way, because of course it is. Let's we'll just use our sprint. Oh, there seems to be a, quite a bit of stuff going down here. Let's get hit, apparently. I do believe we have to. Okay, ah! There's so much stuff. It's one of the reasons I love this game is there's always so much stuff going on, especially in the finales. Or the one that wasn't the finale, but still had the most stuff going on ever I've ever seen in a game. At once. Let's use our also lovely scootering skills to get over here and beat up the last flower. That was... that was exhilarating. Is it over? Yes. The air is clear again! Yes, I have cleaned the pollution from this world. Now don't do it again or I'm gonna come back and murder you all. Oh wait. The goats seem to have come to their senses again. I don't really understand it, but I assume we have you to thank. That's a great assumption because it is all my fault. It is mine. We found this in a cluster of those flowers after they wilted again. You were pretty insistent on going after the others, so I guess it belongs to you? Yes, they all belong to me. Uh, thank you for helping us. Yes, all 40 of these belong to me, despite the cut the intro cutscene clearly showing far more than 40 falling out of it. And each of the enemies that tend to have them have a lot more than one. And with that, we have cleared all of the main levels of Alpine Skyline, leaving only the two timers we haven't already done. The purple one and the blue one. Which, I do believe in the next episode, we will be coming very, very close to finishing up a hat in time. Dang, already? We haven't even hit 30 episodes. Um, Dweller Mask, please activate. I don't have that one on anymore, do I? But it's so helpful, though. I mean, look how quickly it recharges. Yeah. Now, since we have 400 some odd pawns, we're going to fix this and put the last relic we have. I don't, I don't think it matters. Does it matter the order? It does matter the order, that's the problem. You gotta put the UFO on first and then that. It's a match. You've identified a relic from this strange palette. Planet. Palette? Boop. And that one will activate the purple time rift over um, that place. Mockery of off-planet life. What the heck? Spaceships don't look like that. Where's the wood? Why is it sucking up cows? This is insulting. I'm gonna sue. And with that, unlocked and put on for display because they like to mock off-planet life like us. We are going to call it an episode. In the next episode we'll probably be doing mostly time rifts. I think there's a level or two we can do, but for the most part it'll be time rifts. Anyway, see you guys in the next episode.